you think they talk about? David and you, Darrow? Go find them. Still at the office. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about them. Just starting to try to convince him to come out of hiding. Right. Stay with them. See how right. Darrow, we're fighting. I'm telling you, Hugh. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me? Yeah, how are you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why, so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker. In Sanders' group? You're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or the ex-cop? Listen, Adam. I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. You've still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I've built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the Typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks and taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. That hacker's not gonna be sitting still for long. Get over to the station and find a way inside.
Jensen? Hey, 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 look who's back. I heard you were healing really fast. Congratulations, man. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Adam Jensen? Um, Adam Jensen. I heard the police. Don't you have somewhere to be, Jensen? I'm sure Saraf is expecting your report. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Adam Jensen? Remember me? No, 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 Hey, Jensen, glad to see ya. Damn it, now I sound like his girlfriend or something. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see ya. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. Care to give me a few more details on exactly what it is you want me to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. The footage will probably be in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book. His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help.
Let me get back to you. brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that it ends. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've... changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put... I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her?
Should I expect some form of compensation for this? Adam, you're... You're serious, aren't you? My God, this isn't who you used to be. I thought a chance to know what really happened to Megan, what really happened to you, would have been enough. Would have been worth your time. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. My Wi-Fi is out, and, and I need to check the sports scores right away. I wish I could afford one of those cranial jobs. Why did you do it? You were beautiful just the way you were. Protests. These Olympians. Ah, Mr. Jensen. David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Dr. LeBlanc, code blue. Dr. LeBlanc, code blue.
Dr. Teasdale to X-ray. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Protesting is not. I really don't see what all the fuss is about, officer. But some it's of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern, but if you want round-the-clock protection, go on in. We're still open. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. People see conspiracies everywhere. They're saying that Lim's personal catalogs mean some people get preferential treatment. Police. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Nia Shia Akeem is way prettier. But Eliza has a tell. Nice jacket. Is that a high man? In leather? But Eliza has intelligence, and I love how she dresses. So cool. Intelligence? She just says what Pikas tells her to. And Pikas only reports what the government allows them to. Eliza is just a puppet. Well, she's one hot puppet. You're so dumb. What's up, dude? You lost or something? I wish my boyfriend had some of your class. I love Detroit. There's no place like it. I moved here from the country just recently. Fucking Motor City bangers. Who do they think they are? The sewers was our turf. The whole sewers. Except near the cop shop. Blues made sure nobody hung around there. Like the kind of guy who'd know how to lay his hands on some explosives. You know, hush hush. I heard the mob is stashing stuff down in the sewers. Oh, please. You can't actually believe the purity first of freedom. Not yet. Just wait till the You meet all types in this city. Oh, the media says 
speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit. Hello? Hostage taking and a protest in the same day? Don't get me We're started on that. We're headed towards martial law. Lazarus was right. I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration. These officers are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Restricted area Sounds beyond good. this point, Wait. sir. And assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to the humanity front. My people have worked tirelessly. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Restricted area beyond this point, All sir. The media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just... Restricted area beyond this point, sir. Jensen, what the hell are you doing here? Station's supposed to be off limits to all non-essentials. You don't even fucking work here anymore. That's right, off limits. I heard orders Low. came down from pretty high up. If I had to guess... Well, no. I heard there was a demonstration at the in no way linked to humanity from You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Thank you. 
Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. Whoa, man! That's some get-up you got. What you trying to hide? Look at you, all ogged up. Can you fly with all that stuff? Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. If those Ugg lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Where he at? Yo, where you been, man? He been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh, word? I wanted to get some upgrades for my Zenith 10 mil. He can hook you up nice, man. You go, tell him I sent you. I want to see Scout next time. Access granted. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kinda hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? 
First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up, maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. I'm thinking about getting my pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws and cyber fangs and shit. Power hungry bastards. Every last one of them. Hey, Val. You got any change in that fancy coat of yours? Look at you, man. Another sucker who bought a bunch of crap you never really needed. That Cassandra chick is right on. You see a report on people voluntarily amputating themselves and getting augmented? What a bunch of freaks! <laughs> 